Okay, here we go. Booze House Tales back again with another little Whack Yourself Wednesday. Hope everyone is uh, well and good. Yeah, and apologies, not done one of these for uh, a little while. Uh, been pretty busy the last few weeks. Was off on holiday, was off in, in uh, sunny Slovenia, seeing the sights, climbing some mountains and uh, swimming in some lakes. Um, so I couldn't do uh, one while I was out there because I was uh, having a really good time. Uh, last week I was back, but I, was, I went to see uh, Offenheimer. Um, very good film, but that's like wiped out the hill whole evening. As that mean that movie's like three hours long, but um, well worth uh, well worth a watch. And today, this week, I was down the studio, um, but back back home now. Now recording this Wake Yourself Wednesday, so this Wake Yourself won't actually see live day until um, Thursday morning. But I assure you. This has been recorded on a Wednesday in classic whack yourself uh, fashion. And hopefully now I'm back, a bit more settled, uh, no more holidays coming up um, too soon. So these whack yourself will be back um, for the foreseeable and hopefully a few different bits, bits and pieces as well actually. I need to uh, pull my finger out and get some uh, a few different bits and bobs out in the world. But um, hold tight, there should be, should be something quite interesting. Anyway, back to the booze. Um, as I mentioned, I was out in uh, sunny Slovenia um, a few weeks ago, just seeing the sights, climbing some mountains, checking out the wine region, going to slap and whatnot. Um, but yeah, had some like lovely array of different wines and a lovely pet nap um, in in the uh, Vipava Valley. It was actually a lovely drop. Um, but yeah, on the way back, I was like, oh, in the airport, got a few bit of time to kill, got a few hours to kill. Have a look, have a little nice about in the shop, and also you see um, your classic, um, huge terrible loans in there, massive bags of Haribo, um, your little lint selection box, the old classic, they had them all, they had them all in there, a bit of Kinder in there as well. Um, but I saw, was a uh, nosing around the booze area, I thought, oh, this is a bit, a bit strange, I've not seen that anywhere in Slovenia, and it looks uh, quite interesting, so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go. Maybe it's a, a perfect fit for the old uh, little whack yourself. So what I've gone for is uh, this, Tears of Dragon. Um, so it come, it's a strong and bitter brandy, seven local herbs, comes in at uh, 40%. I thought um, I'll give this a little go, um, yeah, and see what it's all about. Did actually sample quite a lot of different uh, booze and yeah alcohol shops alcohol um, dispensaries I didn't see this in one place at all only the airport but I thought I'd give it a go it was fairly cheap um, so I'm gonna yeah just crack this open you can see the seal still on it so I'm gonna crack this seal open and uh, yeah give this a little go let's have a, let's have a go at this um. Let's see how, um, yeah, how strong and bitter these, uh, this brandy is. Had a little look online and there wasn't much about this either, so um, a bit ominous really. Just doesn't smell too bad. Um, I've not refrigerated it, just put it in the cupboard, slung it out of the cupboard, then uh, straight into the glass, got the old brew. Brew a little uh, third glass in there. Let's have a little splash of this. Okay. It does smell very herby, and more than a uh, standard brandy, which is what it says on the tin. It smells pretty. It smells pretty good. Let's have a go. Okay. Oh, when you sniff that, that is that is a uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty powerful. But it smells, tastes pretty good. I'm not a massive uh, brandy drinker, but that's got a bit of a kick in there, and it's pretty nice. I know in Slovenia they make, uh, I think they call it nognac, because um, it's well same, same method as cognac, um, but the French uh, all over it on the names of different alcohol and whatnot, and uh, food and drink. And they've um, yeah cognac can only be called cognac if it's made in the cognac region in uh, France. And but yeah they've got nognac and I've seen this is a bit on that um, that style of the old Slovenian style of a uh, of Slovenian method of uh, um, creating brandy. But this is a pretty nice drop. But yeah, unfortunately I didn't get this from the airport. Um, but yeah, it's an, a nice little sipper. But yeah, I'm not really a brandy um, aficionado compared to. Um, well, the beer and the outside and whatnot, and the UK 
super super booze and the super tenants but that it's not too bad that could uh, be pretty nice over rice so maybe next time I have it um, branch out have it over rice and uh, see what's going anyway this is me out and hopefully you'll see uh, a lot more of me soon anyway ciao for now bye